The maned wolf is the only representative of the genus of the same name, the name of which translates as a short-tailed golden dog. It's not a very large animal. His body length does not exceed 130 centimeters. His weight is about 25 kilograms, and this together with incredibly long legs, which make him one of the tallest members of the family. The height of the withers can reach 90 centimeters, like that of a gray wolf, although he, with a weight of up to 100 kilograms, is the largest among all canines. The coat in the upper back and neck is noticeably longer, and it stands on end in case of danger, visually increasing the size of the alarmed animal. The animal got its name precisely for such a peculiar mane. Maned wolves live in selected countries of South America, mainly in Brazil. They choose mostly open areas, meadows, shrubs, forest edges, and even swampy areas. Usually during daylight hours, animals are inactive. They spend the day hiding from prying eyes, and when darkness falls, they go out in search of prey. Maned wolves don't form packs, unlike other large canines, so they hunt alone. Large ears help pick up rustles in the grass, and disproportionately long legs provide excellent visibility, allowing you to lock in a target in tall vegetation. Basically, the maned wolf uses fox tactics, sneaking up on prey and overtaking the target with a decisive jump, but sometimes he clearly lacks one jump. According to statistics, only every fifth attempt ends in success. Another way is to dig a hole and stick his narrow muzzle into it. Most often, small mammals such as rodents, rabbits, and armadillos become victims of a predator. But sometimes, predators prey on birds, insects, and even snakes. Although the latter can fight back, this is not the best prey. But the predatory nature doesn't prevent him from eating fruits, roots, and tubers from plants. In general, about half of the diet of animals consists of plant foods. Therefore, the maned wolf can be called omnivorous. He spends up to eight hours a day looking for food, eating everything that he can swallow, but his favorite delicacy is fruits that look like tomatoes, which are even called wolf fruit. Maned wolves form a pair for life, despite their solitary lifestyle, although they rarely contact outside the mating season. They occupy a certain territory, more often about 30 kilometers squared, and combine hunting with patrolling it. Predator marks have a strong, pungent odor that is transmitted over long distances, thus avoiding unwanted encounters. The animals were even nicknamed skunks among wolves for such a scent. We also can't ignore his voice. Basically, this is a throat barking or the equally strange grunt, which is used to intimidate competitors But this method didn't work on Paraguayan foxes, which are half the size of wolves. They had to retreat. Although the maned wolf is the largest canid in South America, it is a cautious and shy animal by nature that prefers to avoid unnecessary collisions. Usually in summer or early autumn, from three to six puppies appear weighing about 400 grams. Moreover, in the first months of life, their fur is dark gray in color, and the tip of the tail is white. 
Their legs are short from birth and only with age do they acquire the usual elongated appearance. Babies are mobile and playful, but in adulthood, males are noticeably more active than females. In the meantime, they develop skills that will help them survive without the help of their parents. In captivity, males take an active part in the life of the young. Together with the female, they teach puppies to hunt and protect them from uninvited guests. But in the natural habitat, the father role in raising the young remains unknown. After all, maned wolves are rare even in a relatively small habitat. They can't boast of the speed of a sprinter despite their long legs. In addition, predators are not adapted to running long distances. On the one hand, this is not critical, because animals have practically no natural enemies due to their size. But their slowness makes them easy prey for poachers. Hunting a maned wolf is prohibited, but the locals believe that some of the animal's organs help in the treatment of diseases, and the cowboys of Bolivia believe that bad luck will certainly bypass them if they sit on a wolf's skin. At the same time, the maned wolf doesn't pose any danger to people. He will never attack first. Also, animals often die on the roads, especially young animals that approach humans in search of food. They lose their guard and return to the city again and again, getting used to easy prey, and it may end badly for them. All this, together with a reduction in the natural habitat, puts these beautiful and amazing animals in a vulnerable position. Life expectancy in captivity reaches 15 years. Of course, in the wild, this figure is much more modest. In total, the population of maned wolves totals about 17,000 individuals, and only a careful attitude to nature will preserve and increase this figure. If you liked the video, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel, because your activity motivates us to create new interesting videos. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.